the hairstyle that girls hate and the hairstyle that girls love. Okay, two things. I think in order to do this meme, you need to have hair on your head. Secondly, that is a Honda Civic. You ain't flexing anything. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Okie dokie, let's go. Genuinely respecting women instead of trying to manipulate them into sleeping with you. Nice guys. I'm not sure what that really means. Yeah, you want to know the main difference between a guy actually being a genuine human being and somebody calling themselves a nice guy? As he asked both of them, would you help an old lady cross the street? And then one of them asked, why would I do that? As if he was expecting to get something in return instead of being just a good person out of the kindness of their heart. Because for them, unfortunately, everything's got to be a transaction. So, I've been trying to talk to this girl for ages. We met at uni a few months ago, and I got her number through a friend and started texting her and found her social media. She was pretty unresponsive, but I know that's how women act nowadays, thanks to leftism and feminism. They act hard to get and reject nice, caring guys. Anyways, soon she stopped replying and blocked my number and social media accounts. I made a new messenger account and messaged her, and she's still not replying. And her friend told me she's kinda creeped out. And I'll admit I found out her address through white pages, so I don't know if I should just show up at her door at this point to talk to her. Please help her brother out. And unsurprisingly, at no point in this whatsoever you stop to think maybe this would be a bad idea. Getting her number from somebody else and using it to contact her, that one, nope, that was an okay idea in your eyes. Showing up at her door, yeah, <laughs> ah, try that. Like seriously, what do you think will happen? Uh, do you think that people tend to associate being nice with being weak? Uh, seems like the term nice guy has a negative stigma around it, and I don't see why it's bad to be nice and respectful to women. You know, I find it funny as like whispers become old reliable when it comes to nice guy posts. Being short and ugly is a free pass to treat women like S both online and in person because what difference does it make to me? Being short is the worst thing a man can do. Given a six foot two serial killer will have females lining the block to suck him off. Dude, I'm gonna say this coming from a five foot nine person. You're being a POS. Stop it. No, seriously, I'm like the smurf of my group of friends. But yeah, your height is no excuse whatsoever to be a jerk. Be kind regardless of whether or not you need to ask help to reach things on the top shelves. Happy hump day. See, personally, I myself am more of a and it's Wednesday my dudes kind of person. Ah, you too. Are you okay? Yeah, why? Just wondering. Okay, lol. How's your day? It's been alright. How's yours? Good, just horny. Lol. Okay, lol. Hey, what? It's you, okay? In scuba? Yeah, still okay. So are you horny? No, I'm at work, and I already told you I'm not interested in that with you. Oh, come on, 21 isn't even a difference, and I'm mature for my age. I'm not interested. Stop. Whatever. I know I don't really know you, but you're acting like I'm a creep, and I'm not. I'm a nice guy. I ask one silly question, and you treat me like a creep and gaslight me and act like I'm a perv. I don't think you know what the definition of gaslight means. I'm just attracted to you and your pics and that's all. Okay, well, I'm sorry things didn't work out how you hoped they would, but I don't think we should chat anymore. I hope we'll find what you're looking for and have a lovely day. Jeffing B, you're missing out. I'm okay with that. F off. LMAO. Yeah, we're missing out. Uh-huh. Sure. I'm sorry, I'd like to rather run toward the business end of a machete. Nice guys are people too. Please give them respect just like how they respected you. Unless you push them too far. Hashtag nice guys. Hashtag green party. Hashtag George Flay. Okay, two of those, I'm questioning why they're there. Chicks push away 401k type men and cry over dudes who can only text you around Wi-Fi. 
Yep, because so many women have set themselves up for failure over and over again that they subsequently end up seeking out relationships that will never work out on purpose. Realest as I've seen in a while. Maybe the ones you talk to. Uh, we love retirement plans over here. I'd be like, talk to me dirty and tell me how your company matches what you save, papi. Some of us can't even get those ones. I give up. Sounds like you've had a good weekend. I reflected over mine and don't think I'm quite ready to date yet. You seem like a cool and fun person, and it's nothing to do with you. Just wanted to be honest. Right, classic. I just think that for someone who has actively pursued someone for a week, to turn around and say they're not ready for dating is a bit rich. You should really know yourself better than that to conduct yourself in a way that doesn't harm others. Despite not beating you, there's always a level of investment in something like this, and you had encouraged that investment. What a waste of my time and energy. So wait, you didn't even meet her in your pissy? Eh, not really. A woman 30 plus age changed to many partners, and she rides all of those handsome man's d's as much as she could and now she is old and new fresh looking girls has come into the play she wants to settle because her marketplace value decreased drastically and man is not giving her any attention so is time to find future husband to settle now she wants some idiot read guy who can be manipulated that is a good guy and has a steady income so her future children and herself are safe and sound. Women can't admit that her time is over and that man that is 30 to 40 years old has money, looks, and is high on marketplace value because of that. So he is attractive to the younger girls, and he will take younger girls just like when his generation of women effed much older dudes and never looked at him because he didn't have money and power. Women in 30 plus will often say things like he can't handle strong and independent women just to hide the fact that she is no longer into the game. This is a defense mechanism, and strong and independent women don't say things like that, let alone chase a man. Hey, wanna hook up? The world is going to ass. No one cares about anyone anymore. People call the cops on you for just talking. I haven't gotten laid in three years and horny as F in this crazy world. Eat a dong. You're probably lesbo and wear a face diaper. Ah, aren't you nice? Huh, the nicest with a perfect fit for you. People who are actually good human beings do not accept this person as representative of our lovely community and will proudly cast him aside, giving him to the people who to make dad jokes at retail workers. Learn from it. Complimenting beautiful women on their looks generally makes them see the man as lower status and turns them off. It's odd, I know. That said, give it a week or so and reach out as if nothing went wrong. Do not mention this issue or apologize. Just act calm and confident and ask her out again. Women sometimes reject you early to see how you handle it. If you lose your cool, you fail the test. If you keep your confidence, you pass. Uh, dude, there's a difference between being confident and being persistent. Also, acting like nothing never happens is one of the surefire ways to piss people off. And one thing to also note is, depending on the compliment, it could really come off as creepy or actually a good thing. Like, if somebody decided to do their hair up in a certain way because they thought it looked nice, and then somebody completely random says, hey, I like your hair, that's that could be a way to confirm that that was a good decision by that person. But if somebody were to walk outside, and they said, hey, mama, you got them birthing hips. Yeah, that would come off as just a little bit creepy. Hi, I'm Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I used to suck big time with women, dating and relationships, even though I was nicer than other guys. I tried my hardest and followed all of the dating advice. The women I landed, unsurprisingly, weren't very picky or hard to get, and I regularly got cheated on and dumped, and despite being the nice, generous, thoughtful, and loving guy, I 
thought women wanted. Once they got to know me, the attention disappeared. I don't know why being kind gets you in trouble. I was talking to this girl for maybe a month. I recently knew that she ended in bad terms with her ex, so being a guy, I know how it feels to end in bad terms. I tried to convince her that she should talk to her ex and fix things up, and they ended up back together. And I'm just a guy again that got rebounded. F boys are made like this, and hopefully I don't turn into one. Opie pushes back the girl to her ex. The girl goes back to her ex. Opie, I know that's the Pikachu face. Also, dude, you got like no excuse to get mad at things. You told her to go go correct things with her ex, and like they fixed it. Like this isn't say one thing, do something else. This is literally she did the thing you said. You got no excuse to be pissy. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.